Friday Night Tights, where are they at now? Latrell McCutcheon, one of the most dynamic athletes featured in the series. Consensus four-star recruit coming out of high school. As a freshman, he played college ball at Oklahoma. And this spring, he transferred to USC. Quarterback Lucas Coley, who was featured on the San Antonio Outlaws, along with his dad, who coached. Coming out of high school, he was a four-star recruit and the number nine dual-threat QB, according to ESPN. Last year, he was red-shirted at Arkansas. And this spring, he transferred to the University of Houston. Mizell Miller, the most dominant football player featured throughout the series. He'll be finishing up high school this year, but chose not to further his football career. He recently posted a YouTube video explaining his decision and the two main reasons why his body has gone through too much wear and tear from injuries. And he does not like the business side of the sport. It took the fun out of it for him. Make sure you go watch that entire video as he explains what his next steps are. Esteban Guillory, another coach's son, and they were both featured on the San Antonio Outlaws when they moved out of Typha. Currently a two-star safety, according to 24-7 Sports. He's committed to play his college ball next year at Army. The Brooks brothers, Douglas and Dalton. And if you remember, Douglas was an absolute man-child for the Yoakum Outlaws. He committed to play D2 ball next year at Texas A&M Kingsville. Dalton is a consensus four-star recruit in the class of 2023. He's ranked 72nd in ESPN's 300. He has several big-time offers, including Alabama, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Texas, to name a few. Cedric Alexander, another coach's son who played for the Austin Steelers. Three-star recruit in the class of 2023. He has committed to play his college ball next year at Vanderbilt. Johnny Bowens, who played for the 210 Outlaws. Consensus four-star recruit class of 2023. He's committed to play his college ball next year at Texas A&M. Zion LeGrant will be graduating from high school this year. He committed to play his college ball at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Cedric Juju Thomas Jr. Class of 2022. He'll be playing D2 ball at Assumption University. Eric Nolden Jr. Class of 2022. Recently received an official offer from North Park University. A D3 program, but no news on any commit yet. Caden Basenko, who played QB for the San Antonio Outlaws, has committed to play D3 ball at Texas Lutheran University. Diego Narezzo, another QB for the San Antonio Outlaws, class of 2022. He's committed to play D3 ball at Crown College. Teddy Anla had blazing speed and was featured throughout the series, class of 2022. Still no news yet on if or where he'll be playing college football. TJ Andrews, a coach's son, featured on the Predators, class of 2023. He's received offers from Army, Navy, Incarnate Word, and the University of Texas at San Antonio. Justice Hurt, who played QB for his family's organization, The Storm, class of 2022. He's received offers from Culver, Stockton College, and Southern Nazarene University. No news yet on any commit. Jeremy Duran, one of the most gifted QBs featured throughout the series, class of 2022. No news yet on if or where he'll be playing college football. Next up, the DeBose Twins. QB wide receiver tandem for the 210 Outlaws, class of 2023. Both have received an offer from the University of Texas at San Antonio. And Ashton has received an offer from Houston Baptist. Latrevion McCutcheon played for the Austin Steelers, also the younger brother of Latrell, class of 2023, and three star recruit according to 24 7 Sports. Some of his offers include Minnesota, Utah State, Louisiana Tech, and Rice. Micah Gifford, consensus three star recruit, class of 2023. He committed to play his college ball next year at Baylor. Alan Caraccio, class of 2022, two star recruit according to 24 7 Sports. He committed to play Juco ball at Trinity Valley Community College. Tory Curry, the second, class of 2000. 2022 committed to play D2 ball at Southern Nazarene University. If you finally found out where all these players were, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And in the comments, let me know your favorite Friday Night Tykes moment.